First up, we'll be using the Klein Tools 1P voltage tester. The 1P has a sensitivity range from 50 to 1000 volts, and with a momentary press of the power button, you'll get audible and a green LED indicating it's on. And then once it detects voltage, you'll get audible alarm and a red LED. We'll take this piece of Romex, which has 120 volts active on it right now. We'll measure to the side here, so we get the audible alarm, but we'll also measure to the middle no audible alarm. So the second test is measuring to the middle to see if it's still picking it up. Then we'll go into the hot side, that's the small slot here of the GFCI, and we're not picking anything up in the hot side. And then we'll go to the normal duplex outlet, and we do pick it up. So for those four tests, the 1P failed two of those tests. It failed the GFCI, and it failed the middle test here in the Romex. So we're testing the two locations because on the orientation of that Romex, we have hot here on the one side, but then we just have the bare ground in the middle. So it's showing us how sensitive are these units. You'd want a unit that can pick up from a little distance away so you don't get a false negative thinking you do not have power, but it was just you tested to the neutral side or the ground side of your Romex. The Klein Tools 3P has two sensitivity range from 12 to 1000 volts or 70 to 1000 volts. I've been carrying this daily for a couple of years now. When you do a momentary press, you get audible alarm and green LED. It does have an integrated light in it. And then testing out the 3P will be in 70 to 1000 range and it does have an audible alarm. Testing the side, we're good and it's picking up. Testing to the center and actually testing way out, it is picking up as well. So passing both of those. Now going into GFCI, also passes that and duplex. So all four passes with the 3P. The Klein Tools 4 IR is one of the largest tested with a momentary press. You'll get a blue LED and audible alarm. And in addition, you do have a temperature IR sensor, which will give you the temperature right on the LCD screen. When it detects voltage, here's what you get for an output. It's a two level audible alarm. Easily detecting the first one. And in the center, you can see it has actually quite the range where it starts picking that up. So first and second test passed, picking up on our GFCI on the hot side and also for the duplex outlet. And it has those two levels of audible alarm. The Southwire 4012N has two different voltage range, 24 to 600 volts and 100 to 600 volts. It also has an integrated light at the end and once you do a momentary press, you get a green LED with audible alarm, and here's what it sounds like when it detects voltage. And for the south wire, first test good, second test good, GFCI, no, duplex, good. Ideal 61-627 has a voltage range from 50 to 1000. With a momentary press, you get a green LED and audible alarm, and here's what it sounds like when it detects voltage. It has a two level audible alarm. Test one starts picking up a distance away from the Romex. Test two passed, GFCI passed, and duplex passed. The Fluke 1AC-A2 has a voltage sensitivity range from 90 to 1000 volts. With a momentary press, you'll get audible alarm and a double flash of the red LED. And here's what it sounds like when it detects voltage. Test one passed, test two passed. Doesn't really fit in to the GFCI, so that's a fail. And duplex fast. The Kiwitz HT100S has a sensitivity range from 12 to 1000 volt. And with a press and hold, you'll get the LCD screen to light up, which has a display in percent of the voltage it's detecting, the range that's active. And it does also have an integrated LED. You just press and hold and it'll turn on. And this is what it sounds like and looks like when it detects voltage. We'll kind of zoom in on the display so you can see it for the first test. It gives you kind of a percent level for the detection. Second one, not picking anything up, so a fail on the second one. Third on the GFCI, nothing. Ooh, little failure there. So the cap actually came off and just exposed the indicator. So that's less than ideal. And the duplex. 
picks it up. So pass on the duplex. The Greenlee TR13 has a sensitivity range from 50 to 1000 volts and a unique design with two different probes, most likely for tamper resistant outlets to make sure that you can actually get the hot side, which is this side, into the outlet. Here's what it sounds like when it turns on. You get a flashing LED, and then you also do have an integrated LED. And here's what it sounds like when it detects voltage. So test one, it picks up. Test two, it's picking up. You need to make sure you're in the right side for the hot side. GFCI picks up and duplex. Also a pass. So we have all the results and that is including also testing at the duplex outlet, turning that down to 80 volts. So those are all going to be in a table including pricing and also this durability test. What the durability test will be is I'm going to drop the non-contact voltage tester straight on the ground like this and they're going to hit actually the testing portion. We're going to do that 25 times with each one of those and then I'm going to go back in and test at the duplex outlet at 120 volts. 